All right, Crash, thank you. So kicking it off this morning, Georgia is still seeing a very high transmission rate of COVID cases across the state. Majority of the outbreaks are happening in schools as students continue in person learning. That's according to the State Department of Public Health. This is our top story this morning as top officials in our state release new information about the fight against the virus. Mara Sirianni joins us live from outside the Department of Health with the very latest Mar from the first full public board meeting since the pandemic started. Good morning, Aisha. They talked a lot about the vaccine. They also talked a lot about one age group specifically. We're talking about school age children getting sick and spreading the virus. State health officials say about 60% of all COVID outbreaks in Georgia now take place in K through 12 schools with more than 100 school outbreaks so far. Statewide officials say four kids died last month after contracting the virus and pediatric hospitals are filling up. When it comes to the vaccine, shipments directly from Pfizer can contain more than 1100 doses, which officials say many doctor's offices can't store or use before they expire. So the state repackaged shipments that hold 60 to 120 20 doses, leading to more doctor's offices offering patients the vaccine. We were able to do it ourselves efficiently, easily, and I was able to share what we're doing with all the other Southern health commissioners because I, I work with them very closely. As public health workers continue to work to increase vaccination rates, Georgia's public health commissioner says she's seeing burnout and fatigue amongst health care workers. As we're doing things that aren't necessarily valued, like telling people to be quarantined or telling people to be isolated or telling people to wear a mask. We're not only not valued, we're ridiculed, we're lambasted in social media. Now, the recent peak in cases has more and more people wanting to get tested for the virus. That's understandable, but the state at this point is still pleading for folks not to head to emergency rooms. You just heard Dr. Toomey say they're inundated. Uh, don't go to the ER to get tested. All right, Mara, great advice there.